Hello, I'm Kurt Fargo with Microtools and we're going to take a look at the Kodak Carousel 5200 today. Um, we don't know that there's anything wrong with this projector but we want to make sure in the refurbishing process that we take a look at everything that's going on inside and make sure everything is right. So first thing we're going to do is we notice that this is an old style of the new style projectors. The door is attached to the projector. So right off the bat, we know we've got to replace this lamp module. This lamp module can burn people, and it was burning people, so Kodak kind of did a recall on it, so we got to replace that. So take this one out, we'll salvage the light bulb out of it, and then this will go into the garbage can. We'll put a whole new lamp module in here. First thing, go ahead and take off the six screws on the bottom. This particular projector is the older style, so we know it has Phillips screws where the newer models have the Torx. Six screws. They're all the same screw, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. These projectors are a little bit tricky to separate. They want to stay together at the handle here, so you try to lift them off the bottom and it stays together at the handle. So if you can get in here and get something in to just kind of help spread it apart. Flat blade screwdriver works. And there we go, we should be lifting it off. Okay. I see problems with this projector already. This one has a built-in screen and the lens is falling apart. So, small piece that needs to be replaced. And we'll lift off this shield for the lens assembly. It's just press in, there's no screws holding it in. Pull out our cord storage door and usually just throw away the spring. The Kodak made a change and got rid of the springs. Go ahead and pull our door off the back side for the lamp module. Again, it's garbage. The new lamp module has the door built in. Okay, let's see what else is going on inside of here. This particular gear right here will get brittle and crack on you. Uh, this one seems to be fine. Let's just put a little bit of pressure on it and see if, yeah, see look at that. See, it looks good, but so we're gonna end up replacing that gear. Um, of course we've got to lube it. This is standard, you know, Kodak motor is on all the new styles. So we're gonna lube lube, fix the lens, replace the gear, and we'll also lube the fan. So these are the standard issues we deal with on the newer style projectors. Um, so just because they're newer doesn't mean that things don't break. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next video.